So the first step, you add the water into Ooh. the to the maize meal while stirring gently, love. And now you get the hot boiling water. Put the put the pan aside. Get pour in the water while stirring. Okay, put put the stick on top, like on the on the to, on top of the pot on the by the side. Not in the middle, like on the side. And there we go. It goes on top of the wooden stick. So put it in the middle and put the lid. Bingo. Stop doing that. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, darling. So what are you cooking today? I'm cooking in shima. I've always known as salsa or pat or a variety of other names around various parts of continent of Africa. Mm, like that. Looks like that. This is a particular South African brand that I bought for you as a present, as a surprise. Yeah. Because I'm a romantic fool. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like a porridge right now. It's kind of runny. But it will, as it boils, it will develop a much more kind of deeper consistency. You will have to add more millimel to it. For it to be a bit thicker than that. Not now. Look at that staring. Top class. No, not really. <laughs> okay, that's that's good enough. You're so proud of yourself, aren't you? I'm pouring the maize meal in the pot. Oh my god, Adrian, you do not have to be dramatic. Be careful, it pot it whatever splatters splats. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's start, start mixing up. Mixing, mixing, mixing. No, oh, you have to mix. Okay, you can start like that. Some zungu cooking. What's some More maize meal, please. Some zungu. Mzungu is you, darling. What's that? Something like that. Okay. More mixing. Um, no, you're gonna have to mix like an African, like, like your pound, like your pounding. It goes over the sides. What you're doing goes over the side. What I'm telling you won't go over the side. So you do it like this. Hold the pan, hold the pot, and you do this. Hold the pot. So you have to do this. Mix it like that. And the sides. And put it in the middle. You have to make sure you, you mix it up completely so there's no lumps. The way you're mixing, we are going to have lumps. You have to mix the way I showed you. Oh dear. Add more maize meal. Okay. Mix it, mix it, mix it. The way I showed you, darling, you have to use strength. Like, hold the cooking stick like this. Yes. Yes. Good job. Is it like riding a bike? <laughs> you have to get all the ones in the sides. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it. Because the I have been fired. So now we see the expert. Zambian woman in action. Look at that technique. <laughs> Fantastic. I wouldn't even call it a technique, it's just... Wow. Of course, we should be cooking it over charcoal, shouldn't we? Well, well, and a brazier. we don't have anything like that. Okay. So, maize meal is made from maize, not unsurprisingly, which is ground. And this is the staple diet of many people across Sub-Saharan Africa, including Zambia. 
and many other countries, particularly in the southern and eastern parts of Africa. Uh, I'm sure people from West Africa will say they also eat it, but there'll be other yeah, things. Yeah, cassava They're both root vegetables, aren't they? But then in places like in West Africa, like Nigeria and Ghana, and rice is obviously popular. Yes, fufu. Yes, fufu. Yes. Not quite the same, but it's the same sort of texture and should be eaten the same way. It has what's, to go with something. I'm also called in uh, Swahili and speaking really countries. What's it called in Swahili speaking countries? Oh, wait, hang on. Ugali. Ugali. In Uganda, they call it Ugali. I don't know if. I think in Kenya, they might also call it Ugali. So right now it's just been left to simmer for a little while. Yeah. And now and we, we do other stuff. Okay. We do other stuff. Bye. Shima guys. Is it lovely? Yeah. Ah, brilliant. PK, how's your Shima? Hot. <laughs> Is it nice? Yeah. Is it nice, baby? Is it nice? Too hot, sorry, man. And here's my wife's food. Mmm, yummy. She can't wait to eat it. <laughs>